everybody. Hello. Good evening. Have you got, actually, the microphones are probably positioned. All right. Well, it's my pleasure uh, to introduce you to Secretary Albright. And uh, this is the press in our region. And I think they're ready to ask you some All right. questions. Great. Hi, Dr. Albright. Hi. What is President elect Obama doing over the next two months to prepare? And, and if you had the chance to talk to him about preparing, well, first of all, he is somebody that is very knowledgeable and obviously did an awful lot of work on a host of issues during a very long campaign. Um, what I, What is happening is the transition is in full motion and um, various teams have been dispatched to the agencies to pull together the material uh, for the transition. The transition is a very interesting period. Um, I have been both transitioned into and then the transitioning in. The latter is much more fun. Um, and But what happens is it's a period that in many ways is too short because it's hard to take over a whole government and in many ways too long because people are expectant both here and abroad. I mean, there was a big election. So what happens uh, is that people pull all the material in the departments together to be handed over to the team. And President-elect Obama is spending his time in Chicago uh, uh, selecting his uh, team and preparing for January 20th. Hi, uh, my name is Andrew Stephen. I'm from the Beacon Woods University student newspaper. Um, you mentioned last Tuesday that you considered it your personal mission to keep the youth energized uh, past the election. Uh, what do you see yourself doing to accomplish that goal, and will it be in any official capacity with the administration? No, I mean, I, I don't expect to have an official capacity, but I, I'm a professor uh, at Georgetown, and I do spend a lot of time with young people in generally in places. I think that what was so exciting about this campaign was the whole way that the youth were involved in very active ways and also using all kinds of information technology, and, um, and I think that will continue. I think that there um, will be many, many activities where young people are involved and uh, are able to do feedback on a whole host of issues, because I think that President Obama is going to be somebody who wants to hear from um, a variety of people, and, and I'm sure that there will be ways that there will be input from the outside in order to get the views, and also because he's got a huge job to do and is going to need public support. So I think there will be a lot of back and forth and feedback. Okay, thank you. Hello, Doctor. My name is Joe. I'm from the NBC station in town. Uh, we talked to so many folks over the course of our jobs uh, out on the street. The economy has taken the front seat, uh, but there's so much going on on the national front in the national theater. Uh, what should folks who are trying to make their own ends meet still be looking at on the national front as far as two wars that continue to drag on and a number of potential conflicts in you know, all corners of our world? Well, it's a very, very complicated picture. And uh, I think the challenges for President Obama are huge. And um, he is, as far as I'm concerned, best equipped to handle them because he has his capacity doing and focusing on a number of things, uh, multitasking, as we said. I think that the economy is certainly going to be front and center. But what um, President-elect Obama, or Senate campaigner Senator Obama, had been saying is that he wants to uh, get the forces out of Iraq. Uh, and in a timely manner, I think that uh, a couple of days ago, the Iraqis themselves seem to have sign a status of forces agreement, so I think people will be looking at that. And then adding some troops in Afghanistan and dealing with the larger problems there. But that's just, there. I have said there are basically many issues that are going to have to be dealt with, and how to fight terrorism without creating more terrorists, how to deal with uh, the energy environment, um, issues that go together how to deal with um, the whole issue of the gap between the rich and the poor. So they're huge priorities. And what I expect from President Obama is that he is going to 
be talking a lot to the American people and explaining what has to be done, asking for patience as he did um, on um, election night. I thought that that speech in many ways signaled the fact that he was aware of all the issues that were out there, that he was going to level with the American people uh, and explain that, pay, that this is not all going to be solved in a hundred days or a thousand days, that it's going to take time and patience, but he's going to be engaged in an active conversation with the American people. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Dr. Mike Sissack from the Citizen's Voice, one of the newspapers in town. Um, I wanted to ask you what uh, President-elect Obama should be looking for in a Secretary of State candidate, and we've heard speculation about uh, Senator Clinton possibly being in that role. I don't know about your experience with her when you were Secretary of State, but what, what should Senator Obama be looking for in Secretary of State? And does she have qualifications that might do that? Well, um, First of all, I think that it's a great job. Secretary of State, I think, is a wonderful job. I enjoyed every minute of it. I think that what you need in a Secretary of State is somebody who has a um, capacity to work very hard, to um, be knowledgeable about the various subjects. You can't know about everything uh, at every instant, but to be able to be a quick study to really absorb all the information uh, that the State Department and the embassies provide, um, and to be a good team player. I think that's one of the aspects. What I uh, have, what I liked about Senator Obama um, during the campaign, and I think is very much evidence of how he's going to be president, is he likes to hear diverse views. And so I think that a Secretary of State or anybody that's in the cabinet needs to be prepared to present views um, and explain why he or she uh, believes in them. So uh, also, I mean, it's got to be somebody who's willing to travel uh, a lot, I think, and also to, um, to have a, a broad uh, range of interests, but also to be capable of um, focusing in on what the national interests of the U.S. are. And so um, I think it's a very big and important job. And I personally believe that Hillary Clinton would be a terrific Secretary of State. But uh, obviously, President-elect Obama is, uh, is the one that has to make all the decisions and to see how the team fits together. Because the team part, I think, is important. Uh, diverse views, but um, teamwork. Madam Secretary, Nancy Kagan with WILK News Radio. Um, when you, you were the first female uh, Secretary of State. I'm sure you had reaction from other uh, world leaders, other countries, uh, to the fact that here we have the first woman. Um, now we have the first black president. How will that affect our relations with the Will it be a help, a hindrance, no difference? With, uh, well, in, in some ways, you know, it's interesting because the issues were a little bit different. People um, wondered whether the Arab leaders, for instance, could deal with the woman Secretary of State. And, uh, we had no problems. I think that uh, they knew, or anybody knew, that if they wanted to have um, a dialogue with this country, that they went through the Secretary of State. So that never was an issue. I think with President-elect Obama, it is something much larger than that. I have followed very closely the foreign reaction to his election. It is absolutely stunning. People are excited about it. And, uh, all over the world thinking that America has, um, in fact, presented a, a whole new historic figure. Um, I think it speaks very well for the American people. I think people are applauding America for having elected the first uh, black American president. And so I think it's huge. And I think, actually, uh, it will help this country a lot. Uh, our image has not been very good for the last eight years, and um, I've been involved in a lot of attitude surveys which show the extent to which our reputation was deeply damaged primarily by the war in Iraq. And, and, a great, and people were looking for a change, and the thing that I've said is that uh, people want American leadership. It's just that American leadership was wanting, and now they see uh, somebody who um, is eager to cooperate with other countries in solving problems, and he is the American story. And so I think uh, there is just a great sense of hope and expectation. The expectations are very high for him. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Okay.